What's going on, everybody? This is Flaka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Stallion III. And if you're a nerd like me, you would enjoy the Geekland store. I'm talking about all the anime, all the video games, everything geek-related. Visit geeklandonline.com or visit their IG, the Geekland store, um, on IG. Use the promo code TPSG for a 20% discount on all the nerd stuff you love. Peace, love, chicken grease, all that. What it do, what it does, and what it be like. Good evening, folks, listening from all over the world. How are you guys doing tonight? Shout out Taiwan. Oh, big shout out Taiwan. We got like one listener there. Hey, shout out to we got Taiwan. somebody in Germany. What up, Germany? Hey, what up, Canada? We got, we got, <laughs> one, <laughs> we got, we got, we got people in Poland. I think the proper term is Canada. Yes, I apologize. It's yeah. Canada. Thank We're, you. For correcting, Jermaine. Shout out to the Polish people in <laughs> Poland. <laughs> but um, it is your favorite podcast, the Physics Study Group, hashtag TPSG. Yes. Well, uh, no and we in this piece for yeah. another episode we got for a, your listening pleasure. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We got a full compliment today. Speaking of which, who, who, who's that? Who's that peeking over the horizon? Um, before we start, how you feeling, bro? Silence your phone, nigga. Oh, I apologize. How you feeling, bro? <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Feeling, yeah. For, like, you, I, I heard you had a bad fit. Not a bad. You had the first case of leprosy. Right? You were a leper. Yeah, you were a leper were. for a while. Yo, 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 don't but you look, look fine, though. First yeah. of all, I want to say, it don't. Cleared, it cleared up real nice. I just want to say fake news is real. <laughs> who's your, <laughs> hey, who's your dermatologist? Wait. Fake news. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and fake news Shout is out real. to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Miracles are real. Fake I mean, news The Alpha and Omega. Yeah. Yeah. The beginning and the end. You just, <laughs> the one and only. Jehovah you, Jireh. The you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But, um, yes. <laughs> Next to the leper, the former I leper. Feel, I feel on amazing. His, on his insurance form, he's like, physician. Don't my, listen. Don't my listen God. To <laughs> <laughs> my, it's my physician. It is you. G-O-D, nigga. <laughs> Not going to do that. <laughs> it is your boy, Mr. Jormatic, a.k.a. A- 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 Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. A- Wavy McGrady, a.k.a. A- <sighs> Black Galifianakis. I haven't said that one in a while. You almost said Akka. Aka. <laughs> Aka. 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 AKA, you know who it is. It's your boy, Black Dynamite, AKA, I Sing Black, AKA, Wade Bixby, AKA, sometimes my real name, but I ain't gonna say it on here, AKA, <laughs> Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. All right, that's it, that's Swiss it. Swiss Army it. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, I, had to, I had to get the last one out there. <laughs> <laughs> this is Flocka Zulu Aka. Sir Black Style the third. Aka. I'm sick of you niggas. Pablo Escovich. Aka. That nigga over there. Yeah. It's your boy David Bo Maye. Aka. Oh, God. <laughs> Should have never given you a fantastic. It's a thing now. Bucka. <laughs> Bucka. Bucka. Sirocco Obama 23. You know how I did. For the two, three. Uh huh. And we have a jam packed show for you tonight, ladies and gents in Jam-packed. germs. We can't even fit it all in. Word. For real. But we're going to try. You know, uh-huh. when you when you <laughs> say we have a jam-packed episode, we need to deliver a jam-packed episode. Yeah, so don't now we, you don't put up the pressure. <laughs> Thanks, now like, now we under pressure. Did I miss something? I know, <laughs> I know what we talked about before the episode started. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. But, but yeah, this, <laughs> we just have to make sure. Bro, do we have a whole lot of fluff for you? <laughs> <laughs> we just have to make sure that we keep on talking until we're done talking. And then they get a a jam-packed episode. Word. Because, you know, they're not going to know we talking unless we talking. And now they're not going to know we stopped. Unless we stop. Exactly. So, with that fake deep (laughs) quote of the day. (laughs) From Sir Flocka of House Zulu, first of his name. Yes. Bringer of fire. Yes. Bringer of... King of the murder mar. Word. (laughs) (laughs) Prince of the vandals. Uh Word. I need I need a I need an air though, so I need Lord I need, of the Slums. This is this, this, this is my <laughs> I Slum Lord. I need, I need I need I need someone that's gonna um birth me some some healthy sons. So yeah, <laughs> to carry along the bloodline. We should all make nicknames with the word Lord in front of it. <laughs> that Lord. would be the hardest shit ever. Like Lord Black nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Lord Black nigga. 
Lord Black. Lord Black. That's a bold title. That that's a lot it. of black niggas on earth. Yeah. But you the Lord Black nigga. That means you the Lord boss. Black nigga. And yeah. you ain't even the blackest nigga to be calling yourself Lord Black nigga. Word. You got to spend like, some time in the sun. You got to pay your dues, nigga. For real. Before you just say you Lord Black nigga. Yeah, that, that's a bold statement. You know what I'm saying? That's some I hate y'all niggas. But um, on to... They should have never gave you niggas microphones. There's some niggas in Nigeria with a sun glistening when it hit there. <laughs> Bro, them niggas. When the, when the sunlight hit there, yeah. like you, you talking about you Lord Black nigga. All right. they, they definitely look like slightly unpressed diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty fucking black. That's beautiful, man. And black is beautiful. <laughs> and it shall remain beautiful. Now, as we stray away further from the topic. I didn't want to save fucking Twilight vampires, nigga. <laughs> I, I think if you're that light skin, you got a disease. Uh, I was just trying to refer to the glistening of the skin. Okay. The melanin. <laughs> the melanin. The melanin. The melanin. But, um, yes, as we was getting to the topic. <laughs> where that nigga, that nigga cocoa butter melted before he put it on top. All right. So, um... This year has been a dope ass year in music. Would you agree? Yeah. I agree. Whether it be hip hop, pop, mm-hmm. mumble rap, rock. Uh, damn. You just had to <laughs> say mumble rap yeah. like that? But I would, yeah. I wanna, I'm not a big fan of that genre. I want to <laughs> say, I mean, yes. Fix your face. I mean, yes, it's been a good year in music, but I want to mm-hmm. highlight hip hop. Yes, absolutely. Specifically. <laughs> yeah, yes. Because, you know, just because uh, all, the, all that hate or, you know, the, the, the speculation that. That um that genre gets from you know people saying oh it's yeah. dying down and yeah you know what I'm saying they don't make good hip hop anymore. If you think that good hip hop doesn't exist anymore, we this is the, wrong. This is the episode yeah. for you. You haven't been searching hard enough. Trust well, me, it's there. It's prevalent. Trust me. For you, for it's you, thriving. For you, I don't listen to any music that came out after 2002. Face ass niggas. niggas. <laughs> this is for you. This for is real. For real. For, for real. your ass. Word. So how we oh, gonna run it down? How we them gonna niggas that grew up in South Florida but got New York accents talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, son, this shit is this shit is whack, son. Yo, Yo money. It's like it sounded like a New York nigga. It's like nigga, you from Miramar? What you? <laughs> <laughs> they, oh, the, this shit is wild buns, my guy. <laughs> wild buns. This shit is straight buns. facts. Be sounds it's like a Pokemon. Facts, wild buns. <laughs> <laughs> wild buns is appear. Um, but well, where we can start at? Is like, give me a song or a couple songs that y'all can't stop playing. Like, can't stop anytime playing. you open up Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, uh, SoundCloud, whatever, it's just like. For, for, 2000, for 2017? For 2017. Oh, fa- favorite song it was of phases, 2017? Man. You can have you can have more than one. I went one. through phases of the year. I feel you. How many phases? Oh, I know. I, I can't count all the. Uh, well, the I ones mean, that I can remember. Let's say you got five phases. Let's Name those five songs. Five, I know. Five. I know I mean, one song that mm-hmm. captured me for a while. Uh huh. Was Childish Gambino's Redbone. Yeah, I think that yes. got everybody, man. Yeah. You felt that. You felt that shit in your oh. gizzard. And it went two times platinum. Might be more. But shout out to uh, Childish Gambino. Yeah, that mm-hmm. that song was hot, hot. Words. Hot, hot. <laughs> Like the Migos. Hot, 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 remember? Oh, yeah. Migos uh, had a... They had cho- a few. They had a chokehold on the game for a little while. Yeah. Yeah, they I did. mean, bad and bougie. Mm-hmm. Still bad a year a year, a year and change yeah. later. Mm-hmm. Still People tearing still up, whatever. But you know what's crazy? Yeah. I like T-Shirt way more than bad and bougie. T-Shirt's a better T-shirt's song. Amazing. It's a much better yeah. song. And much um, better song. Slippery's pretty good. All their singles are pretty good, yeah. obviously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I've, I've been noticing that with albums, personally, that the song that takes off is never the best song on the album. I wouldn't say never, but, but not, not all the usually. time. Yeah. It's 50-50. <laughs> I'm yeah. personally for, thinking for your first single shouldn't be the best song. It should be the catchiest. Maybe the, yeah, maybe yeah. like the fourth best song, oh, third yeah. best song. Yeah. Sure, like sure. where, where yeah. all the hard-hitting content comes mm-hmm. should definitely come further in the album. Exactly. It's something you got to look for. Right. Yeah, but, um, you know, as I, I, many people have said it, but... Niggas don't make albums anymore. They just make a track of singles. Sorry, a, a list of singles. <laughs> right. But um, for me... Well, that's what they say. It's a toss-up. It's a couple. Mm-hmm. Like, we can start off with Crew. Yeah. I, I swear, any time that song come out, I just like... Is it money all around me? me? Like, it, it's I crazy. I look like I'm a man. Uh, all three of them came together perfectly on that song. Yeah, mm-hmm. for real. That, that was a well-blended song. Uh, mm-hmm. You got Crew. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got... Blem by Drake off of mm-hmm. More Life. Okay. I'm Blem, Blem for real. Blem. I, I crew, crew is Unruly. 
Yeah. Cruise, oh, sorry, I apologize. Cruise by Gold Link featuring Brent Fires and Shy Glizzy. Yeah. Mm. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, oh. Hefe, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, Freddie Gibbs dropped the album You Only Live Twice, and he had a song on there called Amnesia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. That nigga snapped. Just going on that. That sure. nigga snapped. But, um, yeah, that's just a few. That's just a few. Man, you know, speaking of Gold Link, man, I was bumping that meditation almost yeah. too much. Okay. That's yeah, that was, that was probably Gold Link that's a meditation track, yeah. featuring Jasmine Sullivan. I was listening to that a lot at one point, probably mm-hmm. towards the... When the album came Ball out, season. I switched from Crew to that song, to Meditation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because Crew was out for a minute. Yeah, cause, you know, yeah remember, Crew came out last, last year. year. Yeah, a year ago. Yeah, it, Pretty it, much. it just blew up, yeah. But um, now, oh, sorry. My bad, Flocker. Oh, Flocker. Flocker Zuler. That's how W <laughs> say my name. Uh-huh. Um, what else? Oh, um, well, we're, we're going to get into Wait, albums. Oh. Well, oh, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. We're, <laughs> we were going to get into albums, but um, Big Crit dropped an album. Yes, he did. I'm going to talk about that later. And it was like a ton of bricks. Masterful Man. work. couple tracks on there that I love. Mm-hmm. But Confetti, he hit you in the face <laughs> with Confetti. With confetti. That the confetti was a elbow off the top turnbuckle, bro. Where <laughs> and I was on on that can, confetti for a while. And the confetti, confetti ain't even heavy, nigga. What, word and, <laughs> and to me, listening to the to the to the album, the the the, the, the both the double album, mm-hmm. a couple of times, confetti ain't even the the best song on the. On oh there. no no no! That's what's um, wild. It's the leading. Yeah yeah. It, it's the warm you up. Yeah, that's why he released that warm it you up. as yeah. a single. It's the leading, man, and and it's just. Big Crit's incredible because for those of y'all who don't know, Big Crit produces mm-hmm. just about all of his own mm-hmm. music. That's yeah. what makes him dope. If yeah. not everything on every project. Mm-hmm. Like he'll have people work with him in the studio and stuff sometimes, but Big Crit generally produces his own shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's spinning them lyrics. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, straight up. And, yeah, and that's his talent. Like at this point, I can't even call him a rapper. He's just an artist. He's a creator. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he is. Yeah. I mean, as far as tracks that really got me this year, uh, it's gonna be what's it called, Anita, my Smino. Mm. Oh yeah, I haven't heard that. Anita, yeah, yeah. shout out to Smino tracks. Anita. Yeah, you put me Smino. on the Smino. Yeah, yeah. I've been talking about Smino for a minute. Smino's yeah, it's hard. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Boom. Yo, St. Louis Breeze just it. unique artists, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. what is the that? Midwest in general? God, yeah, yeah, the Midwest for real. The, the Chicago, Chicago, Chicago uh, Detroit. But, yeah, Detroit, St. Louis. Yeah, but the few we do get out of Missouri, man. They, yeah, the, yeah, they be Metro Boomin. No, Metro Boomin's from from St. Louis. No, he's from Atlanta. He's from St. Louis. All right. No, no, no. He's, 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 he, no, no. He's from St. Louis. He moved to Atlanta. Was he born in St. Louis? Yeah, he's born in. Like he was he, born in the Midwest. He, he moved to Atlanta like as a teenager, I believe. Metro Boomin or once no, for college, I think. Oh, for oh. college. See, yeah, oh, yeah. for college. Um, to get off the rapper, uh, thing. Hello. Who, who? No, I'm just want to say who's been working harder than Metro Boomin. Speaking of speaking to him. Oh, and producer? Nobody. Sign? Nobody. Nobody's working harder than Metro <laughs> Boomer right now. Well, Trick question. This is, this is <laughs> out more doesn't mean nobody's working harder. Remember when Lux Luger sorry, had a, being philosophical. had that like two, three year hold on the game? Was it that long? I mean, because it was it was a year that Rick Ross dropped on um, because he Lex Luger. Oh yeah. Lex Luger went ham. I mean, it was but I, it kind of reminds me of that, like the yeah. two, three year span. Of, rain. Like you haven't seen a producer do something like this in a minute. You know what I mean? And the thing about Metro is that he's dropping projects. Like it's not just you With know all it, the hardest people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and on top of that, the people where he's at, I, like you say, he's from St. Louis, but he claims Atlanta. I'm sure. If he mm. doesn't, I apologize. But um, yeah, he, he you know he made the album with uh. Quavo in 21. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how many future albums he made. He's about to drop he did What a Time with, uh, to Be Alive. Like mm-hmm. He's about to drop uh, a little project with Big Sean, I with think. Big yeah. Sean. Yeah, this they announced yeah. That. that album cover is hard. You seen it? Yeah. That shit's so fucking but dope. Before, Sidebar. <laughs> before we go too far away, songs, I guess to get away from the hip hop stuff, mm-hmm. that gripped me this year was Skywalker by Miguel. Oh, yes. I was singing that everywhere I went. Yes. <laughs> Celebrate yeah. every day like a birthday. <laughs> yeah, that shit was hard. Like a matador. Word. That was hard. Y'all yeah, might have yeah. heard me on episode whatever singing that shit. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, um, no lie, I've been, I've been on my grime music, so okay. uh, that, that Skepta EP came out, and pretty much everything on there is hard. No yeah. security. 
Yeah, yeah that no security was yeah, tough. Shout out them. Like, if you if you haven't heard Grime or if you haven't tried it, look it up. Like you know, you got Skepta, you have Stormzy, mm-hmm. Gigs, Gigs, Gigs. Gigs. Gigs, and those are just yeah. like the main ones. No, yeah. yeah, there's, there's a, a lot bunch, of yeah. other dope artists. Like this year, projects. I was listening to AJ Tracy. He's a he's actually a um, he's of Trini descent. Mm. But this man, he's, he's, a, he's a grime artist from London. I, he had a project called Secure the Bag. Mm. <laughs> that project is hard. And what I love about grime is they're working with, you know, across the seas, too, because he had Denzel Curry on the mm-hmm. album. Mm-hmm. And then you had, with, on the Skepta joint, you had uh, Ghost Ride with ASAP Rocky and ASAP Nas. And ASAP Rocky went in on some bones. Yeah, Skepta thugs. fucks with the oh, ASAP mob, bro. So yeah, yeah Skepta, he fucks with yeah. ASAP Mob. Yo, ASAP Mob really fucks with Skepta. So. All right, so moving forward, we're getting to the meat of the episode today. Mm. So we each have compiled our top five albums. Mm. Yes, that have came out sort this of. year. I mean, any of you guys want to volunteer to go first? I will. Okay, dramatic. <laughs> Stepping up to the plate. So we go. Oh, sorry, go ahead. And just like all the dramatics, top whatever, they're sure to be entertaining. So. <laughs> top five, top five, top, top five. Now, these are just albums I listen to. So don't come for me, as they say on Twitter. Um, first, number one, I'm going to go backwards. Number one is Damn. Damn is the best album of this year. Yeah. Okay. I'll debate you till my face is blue. <laughs> I do not know a, a track yet on there that I'll skip. Mm. Yeah. Honestly, I, I usually don't say that for albums. I haven't said that for albums for a minute. Mm. But damn, I, I don't know if I can skip a track, honestly. Damn is too. Really and on top of that, the production is insane. Ridiculous. Bro. And then he had the nerve <laughs> to have one of my favorite producers, Knife Wonder, on there? Yeah. How dare you? Who are you to know Knife Wonder? <laughs> <laughs> no, let me stop. But um, yeah, man, and damn King was Capri. incredible. Mm. Yeah, King Capri, new Kung Fu Kenny. <laughs> but yeah, but damn was the shit. That was the shit. Mm. After that too, I gotta give it to Forever. In the, sorry, not Forever in the Day. Forever is a mighty long time. Okay. Shout out yeah. Crit. You know Crit is hella underrated. Now I don't know why. Yeah. Because anytime he gives us something, it's dope. Mm. Whether it be a track, a feature, a beat, an album, a mixtape, whatever. It's like he's That's been it. delivering dope shit. So like I don't know how people well, underrate him so much. Well, you know he's what I'm a he's a he's gonna get his view because he's a he's a. He's like a, a, a slow consume. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so, that's what you said. Because he's so deep and like he, his shit yeah. is just like so profound. You gotta like, be in the zone. You mm-hmm. gotta be in the zone to catch him and like people are gonna build up to him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and I hope I, they do. Or, I mean, he's starting to get his shine. And yeah. I was I was frustrated with that too. Like, why why big crit not getting yeah. it? Yeah, like he been though. Y'all late. Been. <laughs> to to a partial answer to that. I mean, I don't think Def Jam was really putting them into places and, and oh, spaces yeah. they needed oh, to. Yeah, yeah. Previous, I, was, uh, I was just going to mention. Previously, they, were, they weren't really doing right by him and his talent. That's so whack. One, one thing I loved about the album, though, that um, that's Rick's. I mean, it's hard to. It's been hard to do since the birth of hip hop was drop a double disc feature and mm-hmm. have. Yeah. You know, not only not, not only have it play so well, but have the response to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I mean, he really definitely took this opportunity to showcase his skills in, in a way we really haven't seen before. So you know, big us a crit, yo. Yeah, and especially in a time where you know niggas' attention span is the size of a fly. Oh yeah, yeah. The industry said a double album. Just give me three singles. You know what I'm saying? You're right. And in the industry <laughs> going in the complete opposite direction. <laughs> Six, seven song EPs. Exactly. This mm-hmm. nigga drops gives hits us a twenty something. Know what I mean? So. Yeah. Right. So, number two, um, Forever is a Mighty Long Time. Number three, my man Freddie Gibbs with You Only Live Twice. That mm-hmm. was a hard-ass album. Um, it was an album after he beat a rape charge. I believe it was in Amsterdam, mm-hmm. somewhere overseas. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he's locked up for a while or whatever. Um, granted, the album cover was a, you know, kind of blasphemous. <laughs> Uh, if you ever seen a picture, it's like a picture Kinda? of Jesus. It was very, it was very blasphemous. Jesus is like ascending to heaven. He photoshopped his head on Jesus' body. So I was like, all right, relax. You know, just yeah. just release your album and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, yeah, shout out Freddie Gibbs. You know, I, I've I've been listening to him for a minute. I mean, side side little side story. He came to perform in Miami one time. This had to be 2000. And it was a minute 10, ago. Yeah. 2009 before he even blew up. And it was this little spot in Wynwood that's kind of shut down now. Mm. And actually, the main attraction that night was our man Silver Le Q mm, when word. he went by Quest. Oh. It was his show. And Freddie Gibbs was oh, there. You know, so I was backstage. Freddie Gibbs walked in. Nobody knew who he was. And he, the manager said, you know, he's just quiet, low key or whatever. And he went up there. He was rapping his songs. And the power went out. 
And this nigga kept rapping. He was yeah. on stage rapping. That shit was so dope, Phil. So big shout out to Freddie Gibbs. My favorite track on this is probably Amnesia. Mm-hmm. You know, he he's rapping like these young niggas on the quick, fast, metro booming type mm-hmm. beats. Like, I could do this too, nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But um, right. yeah, big shout out to uh, Freddie Gibbs. You Only Live Twice is a dope ass album. Do you, I don't know, it seems like rappers and artists in general, they come out with some of their best material after they've gone through some crazy shit. Yes. Shows. Yeah, yes. man it, was it locked up so. for like three, I, four months. Yeah, I, I like <laughs> Joe Budden. Anytime he go through a breakup, he drop flames. <laughs> he, drop a mood, he drop a mood music mixtape and, and fuck the shit up. You in that mood yet? <laughs> what else he got? <laughs> All right, number three. Uh, I don't know. It's a tie between Hedrix and Future. <laughs> okay, because that makes sense. next to Crew, I didn't <laughs> mention this earlier. I do not know if I played another song more than Mask Off. <laughs> when I when that shit first dropped and I heard those, it's a flute, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard the true. flute. I was like, "What is this?" Yeah. <laughs> and I started Percocet, Molly Percocet. I, this is incredible. Like, yeah. It was like you don't understand. When I heard Mask Off, I, I I tweeted. I was like, "If he doesn't make this his next single, he's stupid." Or I said something like that. And he made it his next single. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't even get past that. It was Power of Attorney, which was another dope ass song. Yeah. It then mask off. I was like, all right, this is too much. Let me turn off my Spotify. And click. Like, <laughs> this group. is overwhelming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Future and Hendrix, one thing I, I appreciate about Future is his work ethic. Like, how you, I think both Future and Hendrix are like 20 tracks long, right? Yeah. In the same year? Mm, two weeks, same month. Forty songs in the same, yeah, yeah the same, same month. month. Sorry, fuck the year. Yeah, niggas be recording like, yeah, a lot every of night, to yeah, 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 sixty yeah. to hundred songs for an album, and then narrow it down. So yeah, like, yeah, throwaways and all that. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, if you're really on your shit, you're recording like every night, every two, three nights, and you putting down a few songs. Mm-hmm. But regardless, for, yeah. for, for anybody to tracks, put that yeah. many quality songs together. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I wasn't mm-hmm. trying to downplay that. Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's incredible to drop. Or that know, means you would have to have made music. more. Yeah, I want to hear the throwaway shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. you had shit on Future, like, I'm so groovy. Like, yeah. I mentioned Power of Attorney. And also, the Mask Off remix. Mm. Kung Fu Kenny put his knee into Nigga. that one. Right. <laughs> yes. What's the, what's the rest of the... Um, the all right, uh, number four, I would probably put 444. That was not intentional, by the way. Huh. Um, <laughs> I like that album. Mm. I really did. Mm. The best part about it, in my opinion, no disrespect to Jay-Z, is the beats. There wasn't a whack beat on there. Mm. From one to no 13, idea, I think. Mm. Shout out to No ID. He did his shit. As usual. You know what I'm As per usual. <coughs> and my favorite track on there is, is probably the title track. Yeah. Mm. Because of the beat. Do I find it so hard? Oh my God, that beat hits your soul. Oh my God. And um, you know, one thing I give Jay-Z, even though I'm a big Nas stan, Mm. is that he stays relevant. He keeps up with the times. You know what I'm saying? So Mm. shout out to Jay-Z for that. He he stays relevant, keeps with the times. He had a lyric about um, Jesse Jackson in the mirror and shit. I was like, how the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, he stays up with the shit. So, yeah, yeah. I appreciate him for that. Like, that just happened, nigga. That just exactly. Happened. Exactly. Or um, right. uh, in the future, niggas playing football with your son. Yeah, yeah, dog. That was so disrespectful. Yeah, and all uh, the money to my ear. We'll call that money over yeah, here. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so shout out Jay. You know, your old ass came through. Hip hop. <laughs> he's always had his pulse on pop culture, though. He's, yeah. always, mm-hmm. he's always had his finger on that. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. And then number five, um, I got to put Ross. Better you than me. Oh, oh man. yeah. Um, oh, no. oh. Uh, what's the what's the trap trap? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I told my roof off at the red light. Yeah, yeah, that shit was hard as fuck. Every time I hear that song, I want to go in like a motorcycle and do wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> but then I think also about Miami it, like, shit. Yeah, I was like, wait, no, I want to live. We're and then and then he had the track with Nas. Oh my god, hip. I think we said it like some podcast ago. Him and Nas need to make an album, bro. Mm. Like real yeah, shit. Yeah, we're seeing it more and more. The collaborative. Yeah. Powers that beat. That's the name of the song. That beat is so hard. When they work together, yeah. they Power. do great. Power. Usual yeah. suspects. Nas and Ross. Yeah, usual suspects. Um, usual suspects. The powers that be. Uh, they had a third one. Shit. I'm, I, it's gonna come to you later, but I would like to see that. Right. Yeah, Ross. Be. Ross and Nas. I would definitely like <laughs> so. to see that. Produced by who? Just throwing who? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> I thought I could come up with that. So, <laughs> Justice League. So okay, I can see that. Uh, yeah. So what? Cool and Dre. Work with both of them. Yeah. Or Cool and Dre. Cool and yeah. Dre and Justice League. Yeah. yeah. 
So that's my five. Okay. Yeah. Before, what's what's your five? Uh, five. I mean, Swiss, I, Swiss Army nigga. All right. I mean, and, I'll uh, give y'all a little something I've been listening to that I could think of right now. Cause to go to all the way back to January to now, that's a lot. I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> but but um, I know definitely Run the Jewels was this year, right? Oh, yeah. honorable mention. Yeah, Run the Run Jewels. the Jewels three. Step into the spotlight. Like mm-hmm. legend has it, oh, if you man. want something to thump in the whip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every joint, though, like, live at the ticker, and, like, every yeah. mm-hmm. fucking song on there. Killer Mike talks mad Every shit. time, Run the Jewels 2. Anyway, um, three. Big Crit, of course, I have to say, because that's what I've been listening to lately, that mm-hmm. Big Crit, um, Forever is a Mighty Long Time. Damn, of course, like everybody else. <laughs> but <laughs> Damn was absolutely incredible, dog. That, mm. that had me yeah. going down a rabbit hole of a musical journey. Yep. Yeah, like, right. just sonically. Mm, yeah. Like just the way the the intros and the little vocals came in in between yeah. the songs and mm-hmm. the interludes, it like it it really took you on a on a ride. It was a feeling. Right. Yeah, um, it was cohesive. It was definitely cohesive. Yeah. Um, one thing I, I I haven't bumped it a lot because I've been on some other more musical sound and stuff, but it's a it helps balance me out is the resurgence of my niggas, the cool kids. Oh, the special yeah. Edition, oh, yeah. Grandmaster that, yeah. Deluxe, yeah. dog. That is a good, that is a pretty. Bruh. Yeah. I can't lie. I've been Bruh. listening to Michael Rock separately. He's dope. Michael, He's dope well, well, yeah. and, and, this year? and, but yeah. No, sir. no, old stuff. Like oh. Banco is the last yeah, year. Yeah, Banco and all that. But and before that all hard. that, <laughs> cool kids, Black Mags, and, you know, yeah. Yeah. all yeah. of that, yeah. they, they, mm-hmm. That was like 08 or something like that. Yeah, and yeah. Chuck, Around Chuck that, English yeah. produces like everything, and he just has that signature sound. So mm-hmm. it was cool to hear it. What was dope about Cool Kids is their sound is timeless. It would have sounded good back then, and it sounds good now. Now, yeah, yeah. And they came out ten years ago. Mm-hmm. Damn. And they never yeah. dropped a real album until now. Yeah. Yeah, they just dropped projects. They dropped yeah. little yeah. EPs and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they said that like we just gonna cool out, drop some stuff, and see what it feel like. That's crazy. Cool kids cool them. And out. then they, <laughs> I guess they kind of broke up before they really dropped something. Yeah, well, they, that's crazy. <laughs> did they break up or did they like just kind of? Mikey probably, was like, I'm gonna do my thing yeah. for a little bit. Yeah, I don't think they broke up. Broke up. Yeah, that's part. Right. Yeah. yeah, we're cool, but, but we go work on our own separate yeah. shit. Yeah, exactly. Also, I mean, Andre, big boy shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. An- an- a, a, I, I want, do want to mention a song I was listening to a lot. Can we just call it an Insecure soundtrack? No, she. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, the Insecure dog, soundtrack had, had me some... shazamming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I never shazam yeah, so but, much in my but, life. Because one song I got from there is by, um, by Roman Gianther. He signed to Wonderland, uh, Janelle Monet's uh, Real Love, No Shade. The song's mm. incredible, man. Okay. Beautiful. Like, I'm gonna say beautiful. That shit was, hard, man. Wasn't Burn he, one to it. Wasn't he the other dude on um, Classic Man? Wasn't he the feature? Oh, that's I who think that he is? was one of the I features on the cla- one of the Classic Man remixes. He was, oh, one, okay. I believe, he was one of the features. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't a dude um, like. He's an incredible like R and B singer. And also yeah, Jid. And, um, I heard Jid on Jid. Insecure. Never had so, Jid. Never been Jid. Never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Never saw this hard. <laughs> that's yeah. one of the other joints I've been bumping for real. That Jid album. Yeah. yeah. That he kind of sounded like Anderson Pack a little bit. But mm-hmm. a Jid, I, I get him confused. <laughs> a Jid song I bumped a lot this year. Hereditary, dog. If y'all ain't here, listen to it. The man shows his vocal skills on it too. Um, oh okay. And then I, I'm gonna call this an album for me. This is where I listen. It's a vibe every week. I listen to the pharmacy on Apple Music, man. Mm. Straight up. Is that a play? Is that a station? Yeah, or it's, radio? A, it's Dr. Dre's uh, Apple um, Beats One station. And oh, <laughs> pharmacy I, doctor. I'm not, I'm not trying to put no plugs in or nothing, <laughs> but <laughs> but but I, I do listen to that every week, and 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 it's always a great guest. They have Big Crit on there, and they do extensive interviews they had Wu-Tang on there with the new album or they had Riz on there with the new album my fault with the new Wu-Tang album and mm. they did a whole funk episode paying homage to funk and how it influenced hip-hop and they had uh, mm. George Clinton on there and they interviewed him through the whole episode so yeah, yeah. man it's, it's, and then you get to listen to a lot of cool music and see where things come from that you may not have real recognized certain samples in the past things like that so um, okay. I guess I don't have Apple Music, but I'll try to check it out. <laughs> yeah, I've been following albums too heavy this year, like some of these playlists and stuff. Just trying to, you know, search other music I wasn't into before. You know, mm-hmm. I'm heavy in the grind. Expanding grime, your though. horizon. I'm mean, really getting in the grind. Yeah. No or, security. Yeah. <laughs> no I'm sorry. Security. I'm keep saying that we say. Yeah. Yo, fam. I, I just keep saying fam all the time, fam. <laughs> all, the all the time, fam. Still Man's on the block. Still off the block oh yeah, though. shout out to Big Shaq. Yo, big shot. <laughs> that uh, that might be the song of the year. That, that <laughs> the tingle scrap. That's like a peculiar <laughs> moment of the year. 
Man's not hot. Man's not hot. Man's not hot. We said it never be hot. Take off your jacket. Talking like much. You want exposure? It's a constant. It's a constant. What have you said? You want exposure? Island Records. All right, let me start. Man's got conspiracy. Go outside and take off your shirt, fam. That's exposure. All right, so back to the top five. Yeah. Sir Flockus. I think that's it for me, man. All right. Oh, my bad. I Ouch. saved the best one for last. My fault. I'm tripping. Go ahead. Um, with the, probably what I bumped most throughout the year at different points in the year is this uh, dude named A Child. Mm. The song's the album's called On Gas, and Mr. Boomaye actually put me on A Child. Mm. But I think I took it and ran with it because I was listening to that joint every day. That that one's called On Gas, like O N G A Z. It's more R and B. It's more like it's a, more R and B soul, but it's like with a trap. Yeah, with the influence. He runs. So kind of like drums are definitely. Yeah, the drums like are definitely Bryson trap. Influence. He's like tight with ASAP, but grittier. Shit. Oh, okay. okay. Like, grittier than Bryson. Oh, yeah, gritty. Okay. Gritty. No, yeah. He's he's a, he's a, he's um he's Hispanic. He got a little Hispanic flavor yeah, in he, there. He's from Peru, but he's Peruvian, and the shit is hard. Like I never heard a dude like. It's almost like when a nigga listen to Nate Dogg. Like, it's hard, but it's groovy oh, at the same time. Like, he can sing, but he murdering niggas. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't know about him murdering niggas, but he seems like a scary Chico you don't want to mess with. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, he got a little mushroom fuzzy cut going on and stuff, but he makes incredible music, man. Um, I, I, gen- I think the man's genuinely talented. I've enjoyed his music thoroughly throughout the whole year, and I listen to the album over and over. All okay, right. something new Song for y'all. Song from that album, Riding Round. All right, I'm gonna check yeah. it out. All right, right round whipping. Yeah, that's it. Round, round. So, Mr. Yeah. Flockus, top five rap albums of the of the year for Flocka Zulu. Uh, so, for 2017. For 2017. Yeah. So, number five is Jadena's album, The Chief. Oh, that was that, this year. That was this that came year. out this wow, year. Wow, that's yeah. that should have been in my top. Oh five. wow, that yeah, honorable album. mention. But that's hey, okay because it's in that's mind. how much good music it's okay, is out there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Bambi, no, Bambi. Jadena, Jadena was groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah, that sure. that album was incredible. He did a lot. Like it, every type of rap song was on there mm-hmm. and done well. Mm. He touched every like Word. subgenre you could think of. Mm-hmm. Where I'm gonna I'm gonna just leave it with that number. Oh, <laughs> Black Swan, Smino. Word. This I is, have to listen to Smino. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this, again, again, this is kind of R and B ish, but he raps as well. You know what I'm saying? I he don't kinda, even know what to. I don't yeah, know. Word, it's hard to put him in a genre, but it's kind of within the <laughs> realms of that. Like he kinda, he's a rapper. Though. He hops yeah. back and forth so yeah. quickly and so yeah. fluidly. You, uh, you can't really even tell. Where exactly? He's word. like he rules. He, he, he rules. <laughs> <laughs> he's blues, man. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> like kinda, modern blues or something. Hey, man. Word. Could be the could be the the beginnings. <laughs> Who knows? Incredibly yeah. conceptual. That's what. Yeah, yeah. Well, and clever. Clever. Very clever. God, like he he the nigga I listen to and think, damn, I wish I thought of that. <laughs> we, we, we all have <laughs> that <laughs> artist. Yeah, I know what you mean. Word. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Word. And number number three is No Dope on Sundays. Okay. Yo, fine. he's fine. been I'm making a tear, bro. By Sai I have to listen to that. <laughs> Sci Hide Prince. Is New Africa on there? Sci- yeah, it is. That sounds that sounds great. Yeah. Listen to the whole album. It, yeah, listen, yeah, it's it's a damn good. And I'm I'm listening to it. And I think I, I probably played it probably two times in its entirety. Mm-hmm. But like I kept like going back. I'm like, what did he just say? Like he <laughs> <laughs> he will say stuff. Dropping that, gems. There's word. a reason why the he was signed to good music. Probably. Word. While and, he was on music. Oh. And the thing and the thing with his lyrics too, like it's not on some baller shit. Like he'll say some shit. Like damn, he admitted that. Like I, I respect you for like oh. yeah. saying that, dog. Like oh, you know, some chick played him, da da da, and he came. You know what I'm saying? Or that, you know what I'm saying? He'll he'll, he'll mention it. that's giving game. I mean, one line. One line he said. He gave a lot of game, but mm-hmm. there was one line like, "You ain't a real boss if you've never taken a loss." Or mm. like it. That and his word plays just. I don't know. It's just really. It's it's nuanced, but once you when you hear it. Yeah, he rewind it. It's, it's dope. He's different. He's different. Like I heard a couple singles when he first came out on um, Bulletproof mm. and um, Whoop Dee Woo and shit like that. Mm. You know, so yeah, he has a unique style. But yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check it out. No dope on Sundays, and the title is dope. Where it is? No pun intended. <laughs> and it's aptly named. You know, what that I'm saying? title track is dope too. Yeah, because he has that. He has that. Oh no, my bad. Now he has that thing where he's he's talking about like that street life, but he has that mm-hmm. spirituality. 
aspect to it as well. Uh. Mm-hmm. So he's kind of like, you know, one of those kind of like street nigga, like one foot in the, in the street, one foot in the church type of thing. Uh, where I, okay. I could relate yeah. to that a lot. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I so think almost every nigga can relate yeah. to that. Yeah. yeah. So, so before I get into two on one, I want to give like a few, just two honorable mentions. Um, Damon Marley's album. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm so ashamed I haven't listened. Um, Stony Hill. Stony Hill. Mm-hmm. I heard Roar though. That song is dope. Where? Yeah. Yeah. Where? Joey Badass. Oh all yes, American, all American oh, Badass. All American Badass. That Man. was straight. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, that, that shit was. Uh, Ring the alarm, we, dog. Yes, nigga. No, that album. And you know what's I, crazy for no, niggas no, forget no, no, he's that, young, that. dog. No, yeah, he's like young. he can fucking spit. Oh, yeah, I'm tripping. So no, <laughs> number two. Number two. No, wait, wait, wait. What are you gonna say? What are you? Gonna say? The Joey Badass album was the soundtrack for like springtime for me, dog. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. I, I legit Salute. had yeah. it consist. Like I didn't listen to anything else. Like yeah. and it just rolled. Like yeah. it was like playing in the background all the time. Yeah. And it fit to every part of life. There was a song that could fit anywhere, dog. Mm-hmm. Uh, Why you don't I love me? I need spit. Right. Dog, I need spit some truth too, dog. I don't too, know dog. you. So. <laughs> Number two, I, I I was debating within myself, you know, how to order number one and number two. But number two, I'm going to put down. Kendrick. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. 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 And number one is um, um, Forever is a Mighty Long Time. I and the sky is blue. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know that, I that wasn't that. a surprise at all. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if, yeah knowing me, you know, because I, I was I was joking. I'm like, eh, maybe because... I was I was thinking, you know, maybe because it's newer, that's why I feel this way. Uh huh. But then I was really thinking about it. I'm like, yo, a lot of, a lot of crits like songs really like resonated on a on a mm-hmm. deep level. And I mean, same thing with, with with Kendrick. But Kendrick was more like you appreciate like you know how prolific his raps are, and mm-hmm. you're just in awe of how amazing he could rap. I'm in awe of Kendra's consistency. Yeah. yeah. Because Damn That's was true. so good, people forgot about the Triple Butterfly, which was incredible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that album was groundbreaking. But and then it, he just can't hit you from the blind side with Damn, and you forget about yeah. a groundbreaking. Imagine being so good. Because it was Niggas different. forget about your magnum opus. Because the, at that forget. point, to Pimper Butterfly was his Damn magnum forget. opus. That's like, that's like Leonardo da Vinci painting something that niggas just completely throwing out the Mona Lisa. Exactly. Yeah. exactly yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, that, that that's how incredible Dan was to me. But yeah. I still I still agree. Yeah. I still agree because... But then it's the, yeah. same, it's the same thing with Crip, but like people didn't recognize Cadillac exactly. was the Mona Lisa. Cadillac was dope. <laughs> Cadillac, that, that, that. Not, not even... <laughs> that's that, just a title uh, track. Not even that shit on... Um, was it that I found like no, um, your mind or whatever it's called? Mm. Oh, I'm forgetting the name, but anyway, let's. <laughs> I'm gonna go away <laughs> and I'm gonna come back. <laughs> and um, the thing about Dam is, Dam is, if you want to look at it this way, to pimp a butterfly, but it's fucking packaged easily for people to understand the message. Mm. Mm. I see and where you're getting at. I don't fully agree, a, but not, I see what you're fully, getting at. Not fully, but though. like the idea that like <coughs> Kendrick still um, stuck with the familiar formula of mm-hmm. hip hop, mm. boom bap, basically boom bap for mm-hmm. the most part in a lot of stuff, and um, and that's that real. It was it was clean and polished. Mm. Sound like the engineering on it was was just precise. <laughs> Yeah, and and it was it made those concepts because it was a work of art. It mm. made his concepts easily digestible. To pimp a butterfly, you gotta listen to that with your hand, with your finger on your chin. Yeah, I feel <laughs> and you gotta appreciate. I feel you. I, I feel, feel like you know yeah. I feel like with his previous work, he was experimenting, and with damn, like he knew he was exactly what he was doing. He would, it was no experimentation. It was I just like execution. Yeah, that was what. There was something he was saying that somewhere along the lines of he's finally like he he's evolved from that trying to figure himself out in the studio mm-hmm. to just going. I think that's what the Kung Fu Kenny reference was all about. Like I, now, I, yeah, now I'm the master. I'm going yeah. in on y'all niggas. Y'all, I'm you can't Bruce touch Lee me. Now. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, and he was saying it though, man. Like he, water. 
Sorry. What, what was it? The Heart Part 4? Before the album came oh, yeah. out, he released that track, The Heart oh, Part yeah. 4, mm. and niggas was like, uh-oh, Drake better watch. <laughs> I, almost, I almost ran my car into the canal when I was listening to that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> shit, is hey, incredible. Hey, 2017, <laughs> as far as rap goes, it's Kendrick Lamar's year. Yes, absolutely. It's not yeah, really I, I wouldn't even... Well, I would... Cause, because I, I felt like last year was his year. Nah, last year was J. Cole's year. Yeah, last year. Mm. Yeah. In, in my opinion, Cole then, had a can, 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 you even, liked, can you even say that it's one person's year, the way it's going? No, the, no, the way I think about it, I just think how big... I think most years you can. I, I, mm-hmm. But is that true? You can say year? it about hip-hop, but you can't say it about music. You can say it as far as genres go. Mm. Pop is Taylor Swift's, R&B is Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? You can say that. Mm. But putting a... On music, that's a different. I think people just been talking about Kendrick nonstop this mm-hmm. year. It's been his mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. I mean, like it was his rise. And oh. then the title of the the title of the album is your reaction to the album. Damn. 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 Now, all right. Now my, my only thing with that, especially if we're gonna talk about which like within hip hop, like which rapper owned the year, owned 2017. After damn, what did he do? You know what I mean. Like you have to, you have That's to keep true. that run going from January to December. In in some in some aspects, I don't need I don't <clears throat> need a new track every week, but give me something to remember your name every true. every few months. Um, true. However, true. as far as I'm not sure if I could really pick one person for this year. Now, I mean, in other years, I could definitely put a finger and put a name mm. if you had to. If I had to this year. Who took the biggest win? Well, what's your what's well, your, yeah, what's your well, top five? Right, we'll, me, we'll get to that later. Yeah. Okay, yeah. top five. My yeah. top five. It's top a little five, all top. over the place. I ain't gonna lie. Um, so for number one, I'm gonna go with Dam. Okay. I mean, I think we all said it. Yeah, Dam. <laughs> honestly, that's that's like when you think of the album, Dam is honestly just the the reaction I have to the album as a whole. Like he mm-hmm. everything you could ask for in a hip hop album. Um, number two. I'm gonna go with Scumfuck Flower Boy by uh, Tyler. The oh, who that boy? Yeah. Who in I only know that song. I didn't listen to that album. Oh man, to I'm sorry. Yeah. He he's growing. He's getting. I don't, it, it sounds like a composition. The whole mm-hmm. album, honestly. Yeah. There are some points that, that that he brings you higher, but he just, he takes you all over. And he he's been talking some real shit for the last two three albums, and then he, and he comes. Cherry to Bomb was incredible. Cherry Bomb was incredible. Yeah. It, Heavily influenced he by kind of, Nerd and Pharrell. Even, oh god, yeah. stupidly Imagine influenced. A slightly more smoother, a little bit put together Cherry Bomb, and that's what you got. For all right, I'm gonna check it out, then. boy. Um, number three, I'm gonna go Pretty Girls Like Trap Music. Ah, uh, my boy Two Chains. Th- that's song. honorable mention, yeah. That album was, I don't know, bro. There are so many that good album songs. Just right. What's that one song with yeah. Quavo? And it oh, has like blue a cheese. Mal- I think, that, oh my god, oh, that blue song is so compl- hard, dog. Yeah, yeah, oh Quavo, god. Quavo made the hook, oh, like and all oh the melodies. God. Yeah, that shit was amazing, and that beat was crazy. <laughs> oh, Four a.m. Um, number. F- 4 a.m. Poor fool. Oh, um, Rolls Royce. Was good drink on that? Good, good drink is on there. Oh, good drink. Frank That's my the favorite theme. song album. Good drink. That yeah. was the theme. Good drink. Right yeah. There. Quavo mm-hmm. had on that hook too, bro. Yeah. That song. Um, for number four, I will go with. Uh, I'm gonna jump outside. That's of, fine. Uh, I'm gonna jump outside of hip hop and go with Boo Boo. That uh, that album by Toro Imoa. I'm he sorry. released an album? Oh, wow. We did talk about this. I didn't and know we that. forgot about it. And Tori Moore is incredible. Yeah. I'm listening to that after this podcast. Yeah, from, I didn't know he released an album. End, beautiful. God. Oh, yeah, my man. God. I'm As so expected, there, he has not dropped one thing that's not that. I don't think he's, yeah, I don't think he has a bad album either. Ever. Ain't he from like South Carolina? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And then for number five, I'm going to go with 444 to round it off. Okay. Um, That's a unique list. The kind of miss that that just yeah. missed it. If it wasn't for four four four, would have been in there. It was rather you than me. Ah, okay. Yeah, Ross, Ross did his thing. And uh, as far as honorable mentions, I'm gonna have to say R and B. Like in general, R and B is kind of making a resurgence. a resurgence. Are you yeah. gonna say what I think you're gonna say? I don't Michael know that, album, but I mean, there's Khaled. That oh, same yeah, location. Yeah. He look out for him. He's gonna be doing things mm-hmm. next year and upcoming. Uh, Sidebar with Khaled. Nice little Khalid you know come up story. Yeah. Like a couple years ago, he's he tweeted. He was like, "Man, I, I wanna." He said, "I wanna be on the Grammys." It is somebody retweeted and said, "Don't worry, you're gonna win a Grammy." Yeah. And then he like referred back to it because yeah, like five years ago, nominated for it. That's so dope. That's some dope shit. Yeah. I met Khaled um, randomly once. 
who else? Uh, SZA, shout out to SZA. Control. Oh, yeah, oh my god, bro. that whole that whole album is pretty is, is great in and of itself. She but smashed like. She, just, I mean, no, no, just seeing where she came from. She, like you said, where she came from, where she is now, that album, how it came out, breaking through her writer's block. Yeah. Just, mm-hmm. just the story of how that album came to be is just is an amazing she story. She took over every woman's iPhone. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? Yeah. I've never seen men listen to a hip hop, sorry, an R&B album so much in recent years. Yeah. Made by a woman. Yeah. Like, every nigga I know is listening to it. Y'all, Twitter. Like yeah. everybody, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Oh, yeah, and Twitter. Yeah. Exactly. She was appealing to everyone. It's crazy. Love, yeah. Love, love, yo, that shit's hard too. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take it. Um, <coughs> as far as, who else in R and B? Uh, Daniel Caesar. Uh, yo, Sir. I've been hearing about this. Daniel Caesar, bro. amazing voice, I've been amazing song this. Wow, it's like you in church, but not. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it, it touches your soul in a way that only is close to. I don't know the way his music sounds, the way it feels. The closest thing I can get to it is when a nigga on the keyboard just singing that solo at church, or you know, like just that. It's, it's. I don't know. It's, it's a great. He makes great music, dog. Very R and B. Yeah. Um. Who else? Sir. Uh. Sir actually just got signed. You got signed to TDE this year, right? No, uh, he did. was it TDE? I, don't I know. think so. It was either Sir, yeah, it was Sir that got signed to TDE this year, and he dropped like two good projects. But shout out to R and B in general. Division, then, huh? Division, division, division. Oh, they dropped yeah. something new this didn't year. They drop something the OVO. This year? I listened to their first album. I didn't listen to what they dropped this year. Mm. Um, mm. but they I like their voices. Mm. Mm-hmm. Go listen All right, to I got a lot of music. Like, not only are you teaching our listeners, you're teaching me. I got Word. a lot of music yeah, I got to listen to. Check <laughs> out, check out that Roman Giantha. Yeah. Bro. Okay. Bro, dudes, sure. Anyone signed to Wonderland? Jadena, Roman mm-hmm. Giantha, uh, wh- Janelle wh- wh- Monet. What's their rock band name? Um, wow, Deep Cotton. Deep Cotton. Deep Cotton. Deep, there you go. They're yeah. not a rock band. They're oh, sorry. Art- they're artists. Oh, I apologize. Bro, I apologize. He, he I'm sorry, offended. dog. They're so... Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. For those of y'all who don't, know, I felt I felt the heat. No, for those of like, y'all who don't know, oh, oh, I felt a heat wave. Like, uh, do we have wait, to fade now? Is that the next step? Miss Boomer, my sweater in. off. For, wait, <laughs> quick <laughs> story moment. Y'all, y'all kind of had to be there. They're not. Yeah, you did have to be there, Miss Boomer. There, there's was a special the place. In my heart, is this about Afropunk? No, this is about one um one music festival in Atlanta when we oh yes when we went and Deep Cotton performed and like oh this is when you did Golden Grams for the first time (laughs) (laughs) yeah that was that Golden Golden Grams we snorted Golden Grams and listened to Rodeo by Travis Scott oh my god God. crazy crazy. (laughs) that was the soundtrack of that trip I mean to put it this way I was basically sober basically I think I had one drink. It was daytime, mm. and Deep one Cotton, drink of golden Deep Cotton performed one forty, <laughs> and I had I had never heard. I'd only heard one of these songs before. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd only heard one of these songs before, and these niggas. Before I realized it, I was standing up and I was walking towards the stage, and I was just bugging the fuck out about the music. So they hypnotized you. Yeah, like, but <laughs> not in no like weird stuff. Like it, it was actually I was enjoying the rhythm, and it was like black. It was like. It was like black. It was like a black person experiencing rock music in the '60s for the oh, first time. Oh, like damn. it was like that for me. Like it, I never heard anything like it. It was yeah. black. It was rock, but it was just it was beautiful, that honestly. song. They yeah. do anything. What's the name of the song? And they do anything that good. It was called. Uh, it was I think it was called Runaway Radio, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-huh. Is the name of the song. It's it's not on any albums or anything, but it's it's my favorite song from Deep Cotton. You know what also happened in that concert? Uh, Jadena was performing and he finished and he didn't want to get off stage. Like they had to like escort him off. He was still performing his song and singing. Like yeah, I'm not. You remember that shit? Yeah, that I was crazy. About that that, that was wow. crazy. Yeah, that shit was hilarious. That was because he that was just when we dropped Classic in. Man. Yeah, we mm-hmm. just got in. He just dropped Classic Man. No yeah. one knew who he was. I remember being surprised because. Classic man sounded, you know, like some trendy. Yeah, you know? but, it's so, the male version of fancy, as Mr. Boomaye said. Yeah, and and so <laughs> I'm so fancy. <laughs> wow. So like I said that. Yeah, we, it was spot on. <laughs> we walking in and he performing that song called Knickers. It's not on any of the albums. 
hard ass song. Oh, I gotta listen. Like, to that. and so th- I remembered it because he says my nigga after like on like a part of the verse he says my nigga at the end of like every bar. Mm-hmm. And um, but it the way the song thumps it caught me. So I was like, oh shoot, this one this Wonderland dude. Kind of cool. <laughs> this Wonderland dude. Yeah, <laughs> and then Deep Cotton came on and hypnotized nigga. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Came and hypnotized. Now yeah. moving right along. Well, because we spent. A long time. Yeah. Considerable. Got a considerable time talking about our top five. Yeah. You know, we're, I'm checking the, the watch. We're looking at the studio watch, which is hung up um, vertically straight above us. That's about That's kind of redundant. Yeah. Vertically straight above. Yeah. Could be horizontally straight above. That makes more sense. To look up. But not really. <laughs> that's, that's about a pop. But, um, yes. And that was TPSG's, you know. Top five. Oh, well, yeah. not you know, just top, I, I want to say you know, twenty seventeen yeah. in music, top yeah. of the top. You know what so I'm saying? We're gonna little, we're gonna do like this little series. Wrap it up, then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we we wrap. We we got that <laughs> <laughs> the, the wrap up music. Wrap it up, then. So we are wrapping up twenty seventeen. Mm-hmm. You know, so we should just cut us off right here. End of episode. No, he, was, no. he was thinking about it. He saw it. Wait, wait. But um, so, yeah, we just he stopped listening twenty five minutes ago. <laughs> so we have a little, little series, you know, running on our favorite thing is, you know, we talked about, you know, we love hip hop, so we, yeah. we we talked about oh hippity happity. We talked about our favorite a- albums. You know, what I'm saying? Oh. we, we kind of went deep in it, but that goes to show you that there's good music out there. So check yes. it out. And and I'm sorry, it's hard to cut. No, you no, no, no. I'm sure there's stuff we missed. It's oh, yeah, that's true. So true. much music. good yeah. music that we miss. It, I know. Yeah. Matt yeah. Wilds dropped yeah, the album. Yeah. R- speaking of R&B and the resurgence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, Big Boy I, dropped Boomiverse. Boomiverse. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Hotter than July. <laughs> Super colder than December. Oh, that song is so hard. <laughs> so yeah. cold. Oh, my God. Yeah. Shout out, Big Boy. You, you the South version of Jay-Z. You never fucking die. You don't run out of lyrics. No. You always relevant. You always keep up. Shout out, Big Boy, man. Word. Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I concur. <laughs> no, nah, but for real, I, I shout agree. out to Big Boy for, for keeping that shit running, man. Yeah, Cause, for real. Because regardless of how incredible Andre 3000 is, he disappoints us so much, man. Like, we but, just want but an album. He, <laughs> no, he disappoints us by not releasing things. Exactly. Yeah. He doesn't disappoint us with the quality of his work. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, Let's wait, clear that wait, <laughs> and, and he's talking about it now like, oh, man, I want to... I want to drop an album. He sounded like somebody who's thinking about it at the last second. Like, oh shit, I was supposed to drop an album. Like, that nigga um, probably has a thousand songs recorded since Idlewild. Can, can you just release maybe even more? <laughs> just release everything you didn't release after Idlewild, please. please. So that's all you gotta do. Please. And we gonna we if, gonna be if, cool. If three thousand dropped a throwaway album, it would go platinum. Oh, I'd Out- pay money for that. Outkast got albums on albums. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Because remember- that's what that's what Kendrick did. In- Remember, mm. um, Andre can't even be on Big Boy's albums. Yeah, that's so fucking That's whack. why Andre has not been on Big Boy. Yeah. He was supposed to be on three of the tracks of the first album. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's because um, of some label shit. Because yeah. J- Was it Jai? On, um, that don't exist? Damn, was no, it's LaFace. LaFace. Yeah. Oh, because on, when they appear together, yeah. they it's, are outcast. It's an outcast, exactly. Oh. Yeah. And I think they still owe an album. Is yeah, something like that. So they because, cannot appear together. Damn. Yeah, so yeah. they had to take off Royal Flush off the album. They looking for you, looking for you, oh, which were some of the so best songs that would have been on the album. God. Let's let's so finish that, this podcast. Those were those were Sir Lucia's left foot throwaways I, only because the label did not allow them to appear together yeah. on the song. Wow, because there was Fuck there boys. was one song. Um, <laughs> I think it was Sir Lef, Lucia's left foot where the last track had Andre. No, it, that, probably, that would be that impossible. That was the bootleg version. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 I remember. It would what, be impossible. Um, like it, it was be, a couple years ago. It was. Um, it'd be breaching contracts. I think it was like <laughs> one of his first solo albums. From. Yeah, Sir Lucas Left Foot was, yeah, the was first his first one. album. Yeah. And Royal Chico Flush was the first single he released, which featured Raekwon mm-hmm. and Andre Three Thousand. But boom, 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 it never boom, became. Boom, it never stayed. Okay. No, you should have kept beatbox. I would have closed out the podcast. All right. So, like I was saying, though, we would love to hear your suggestions. 
suggestions for yes. the top five. So if there's anything we missed, please send it our way. Drop Mac a comment. Manor. Mac Manor. You know Mac Manor. <laughs> Mac Manor. <laughs> but um, as every... Oh, yeah. Please don't forget to follow us on SoundCloud, iTunes, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google. The physics study, the study group, because we're hashtag... Googleable baby. Googleable. And yeah. as every week, I am your boy, the one and only, Mr. Dramatic, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Wave McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis. And you know it's your boy Black Dynamite, aka Swiss Army. Nigga! Nigga. Swiss Army Digger. Alright, stop this for right. Yeah, for real. <laughs> and this is Flocka Zulu Aka. So nah. Black Sally in the third. Aka. You make my skin itch. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo Escovich. Say you're dirty. Aka with a nigga with <laughs> Aka the nigga with an AKA. Actually, Ooh. I actually know a nigga named Aka. AKA. Word. Is AKA. It K- I swear to God. A with an accent, K. <laughs> A with an accent. All right. <laughs> All right. That's because we bougie over here. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I mean, our age got accents and shit. It's your boy, David Beaumaye. Aka. <laughs> Chico Fantastico. Booker. <laughs> Sirocco. <Bobo. laughs> for the two, three. You know. Right. And once again, thank y'all for listening. Tune in next week. And before you go, you make sure you smoke a slip. Take a shot. And rub yourself a nice old fat booty. Yes, a nice we'll see y'all next week. <laughs> <laughs>